Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. As the Affordable Care Act begins to roll out more details, a lot of people have a lot of questions. And with us now is a Congresswoman Gloria Negretti McLeod um, to answer a few from her perspective. Thank you very much. Well, for being to here. answer what I can. To <laughs> answer what you can. It is a confusing thing for a lot of people. And when things are confusing, a lot of people just freeze. They don't really do anything. But um, people are looking for information. You're looking to provide a little information as people are trying. Well, there's deadlines. For instance, there's an October 1st deadline, uh, not a deadline, but it's a beginning of open enrollment for California's uh, insurance marketplace. Mm -hmm. And then there's the uh, January of 2014. The implementation. Uh, there's a, a implementation. So we have to start learning about some of this. Well, and I am I'm on a learning curve also, but I encourage everybody to go to my website, Gloria Negrete McLeod for house.gov. ACA for more information. As the the people are learning, so am I. And so we're trying to figure out how we're going to implement this. I will be having a town hall on this particular affordable, probably in August. Mm -hmm. So we will know more. We've kind of been briefed from the health department. We've we've come in, and of course, California is like many other states who have, on their own, initiated the the marketplace on their own which is kind of the uh, the, the exchanges the exchange the okay. exchanges that's the word i wanted uh, california did that and some other states have but there are some states who have have just held off on doing anything and what's going to happen to them those states the federal government is going to come in and set it up okay now it seems to me that uh the first step for people to take. It depends on who you are. If you're uninsured and you can afford insurance, if you're uninsured and you can afford insurance, if you're self-insured, if you get your insurance through an employer, if you're an employer and you have fewer than 50 employees or more than 50, it's, it's a different situation for everybody. So if, you're, if you currently have insurance through your through your employer, and it's something that you can afford, mm -hmm. there's going to be no change for you. You're you're kind of out there on your own. That's nobody's going to touch you. You're you're going to keep going. Mm -hmm. Life is going to be the same. Mm -hmm. If you have insurance that, and you're in an employer with 50 or under, and perhaps your insurance is very high, then perhaps you'll want to go into the exchange, see if you can get a, a lower range a lower paying insurance that you can afford better for you and your dependents. Okay. And then there's for the, the vast, not the vast, but for those that are uninsured, period. Mm -hmm. And I guess California has set up that, you know, then the federal government will subsidize part of their insurance so they can afford insurance. Mm -hmm. So what does a person have to do? Um, you hear that you're going to be fined if you don't have insurance. What do they need to do? What move do they need to make? In well, there, to there's going to be a, there's going to be like a, um, a margin of people that aren't going to be anywhere. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're going to be too too high to qualify for the subsidies. They're going to be uh, so. I don't know what they're what's going to happen to them. But I this is a learning curve for me too. So I'm along with everybody else. I'm going to keep learning, and then we will provide all the information for the constituents. Mm -hmm. um, so for um, business owners, I'm some of the business owners say this is going to be a really burdensome thing to have to manage. Um, the, um, to extra. provide insurance for their for their employees. Mm -hmm. Now, if they're 50 and under, I guess they don't if they're 50. Or that it'll, it'll kill jobs because instead of having more than 50 employees, peop, um, business and owners may, won't Maybe we'll see what happens. People. That's what everybody's saying. Mm -hmm. And everybody was anticipating it was going to be so costly. But now all of the insurance companies have put out their their costs, what it's going to cost them, and it's way lower than when anybody anticipated. Well, so it's maybe a, the small businesses won't be hurt. I guess like someone said, when we read through it, we'll find out what it says. That's right. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, Gloria Negrete McLeod, and thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Layton.